five amazing stalemates. Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you today? So now you will learn and study so much very important things in the end games. You know, how to think about stalemate, how to do it over the board to think about it. You know, it's so special to see stalemate. The, you know, the position that your king cannot go anywhere and you don't have a move. And the opponent is not uh, threatening your king. So it's a stalemate and the game will finish by a draw. So today you will see five examples of this and it will be amazing. I'm really tell you, just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So before I will start, I really want to show you something very special to my heart. This is my YouTube channel. 770 subscribers 72 videos you can see here live videos of course the title tuesday and that i'm playing leeches and of course shorts you can see so much shorts here you can see maybe the most um you know the most uh, video with a lot of viewers 11,000 views against the Nakamura. and of course you can see here so much playlist and also games between me and Gotham Chess, two games in a row that I play against him. And of course the game with Hans Niemann was just amazing, you must see it. And of course the playlist, so much playlist that you just can learn and also the community that I, today I asked a very interesting question. You, you can see one hour and already 13 votes. So who will take the Field World Championship match 2024 Dingley Ren or maybe GM Gukesh? So it, it will be very interesting to see this and just don't forget to click the subscribe button and also to put the all and let's continue for our first example today, the stalemate. So I give you an hint because you know it's a position that white needs to draw but you will find it out so you can stop the video now think by yourself and uh, just resume the video and you will find the solution so white is playing just just amazing move you know the position is not so simple to understand because black has two uh, three pawns of course against rook and a pawn so generally white should win but what is the point that black just wants to push king b1 and c1 promoting a queen and that's it and we don't have nothing to do for example king d3 just b3 and yeah king b1 will be the next move of course uh, and that's it i think right uh, for example king c4 i just think king a3 with point of b2 and b1 or c1 and just black is winning absolutely and so king d3 is not working and you know what i will tell you the truth one week ago i think this position was played by two very very strong games i think uh, of course opponents uh, players two grandmasters or maybe international master i'm not sure about it but you can ch check and tell me in the comments so in this position white just resigned the game and it's just unbelievable because there is only one option to draw this game and i will show it it now Rook f2, amazing, quiet move. Black is playing the move king to b1. Another option is just to play b3, but just rook f1, c1 queen, rook takes, king takes, king takes b3, and now just black need to understand that he needs to bring the draw home. So king d2, king c4, king e3, king b5, king d4, king takes a5, and king c5. And of course, this position, it's a totally draw after king a6, king c6, a5, king c7, King a7, King c8, and of course after King b6, just King b8, and King's coming to a8, and this is a draw. So after Rook f2, King b1 should be the move, but now amazing move by White King to b3, just promoting a queen, and now very beautiful one, Rook to f1, just amazing move after Rook, Queen takes f1. This is our first stalemate on the board. So it's just amazing. And the draw is finished by a draw. So, um, you know, the game, of course, finished by a draw. And of course, until now, if 
the, the pawn uh, is promoting to rook, rook b2 check, king a2, rook a2 check, king b1, and rook takes b, uh, rook b2, of course. It's a three-time repetition, will be here, and the game will finish by a draw. So, unfortunately, white didn't uh, recognize this absolutely amazing uh, stalemate idea. So, let's look about the second one. So, what do we have here? Wow, you know what? This position is just amazing to, to realize. And I know it will be hard. But, you know, I think in my uh, point and also my perspective view in, on chess that if we will see a lot of hard examples and you will learn, you know, very, very hard position and difficult uh, calculations, you will, you will be better, okay? And I want you to, to, to push you to the end, right? Because... Because if you're doing like very small and you know like a very easy tactics, it will not uh, improve you uh, in the maximum. So I know this is hard, but you can do it and I will show you what is the position and what is the solution, of course. So it's just amazing. You stun the video now and also try by yourself. So in this position, white must understand that only a draw will bring it uh, you know, this is the, the best uh, choice for him because he has only two pawns against three pawns and these pawns is just run so fast. So how can we uh, do this uh, draw? So the move is king to b6. And the point is that you want to play king b7 and just uh, promoting queen. So for example, h5, just very, very bad after a6, king c8, of course, a7. So h4, a7 and yeah just queen right so the only move after king b6 is to play king c8 and now we are playing the move a6 also here black has only one option to play king b8 because after h5 just a7 and we are promoting a queen and white is winning so after king b8 we are pl playing the move a7 check king a8 and now king c7 now of course black has only one option just to to push the pawn he wants to win the game h5 and now we're taking the d6 pawn h4 taking the d7 pawn h3 e5 h2 e6 h1 queen e7 oh but we have this pawn on this row it should be losing but no unbelievable but it's a draw why queen d5 check king c8 queen c6 check king d8 queen d6 and king c8 it's just amazing because queen takes e7 it's just a draw of course this is the stalemate and after king a7 just queen promoting a queen and of course this position it's also a draw so it's just amazing i know but in this position also one option that i really want to show you guys that after king c8 of course queen c6 check king d6 and now king b7 also an option because after promoting a queen queen c7 will be a checkmate but no white will push this a7 pawn to promote the queen king takes and now we will promote the queen with you know relax because this is a draw so ladies and gentlemen this was the second example of the stalemate idea just amazing to see and i really want you to like the stream now this video because it's very very important for me and also comment below how much did you uh, succeed uh, to solve of course so let's go forward to the number three of these tactics we have here just amazing one we have rook and a pawn against three pawns right so blacks who just wants to push king g2 f2 and f1 and it will be a game over because this king on c2 is far away so the move is just amazing rook d3 what a quiet move the point is that after king g2 you are playing the move rook d2 check f2 and now king to d3 king g1 the only move of course because you just wants to promote the queen and now amazing rook d1 check queen promoting a queen and now if we're taking the queen we are just losing after king takes f1 king e3 and king e1 and of course after king f3 we will play the move king d2 with the just winning the game right we will take the pawn and win the game and after king d3 we will play king f2 with also winning the game and uh, the pawn and the game so rook f1 is not the move 
But what do we have? We have the stalemate idea, king to e3. Amazing move, only quiet move. And after queen takes d1, this is our stalemate. You can see that our king cannot go anywhere, right? And we don't have peace to play. So this is a stalemate and the game is over by a draw. What I'm doing here with my mouse? Yes, so this is a draw. And you know what? Another very beautiful thing. After king g2 also, it will be a draw because rook takes f1, king takes f1. And now king f3 and we are starting the race. Who will be the first? Who will be the first? Yes, 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 yes. And it's a draw, of course. So the position is draw. And this was number three of our stalemates. Let's go for another one. So in this position, white is in total trouble. As you can see, the pawn will be promoted to a C1 queen. And also this pawn is helping the pawn. So what can we do? And the move is just amazing. You can stop the video now and think by yourself. But I will show you, of course. Rook to F6 check. King C7, the only move because he might... Um, you know, stop this pawn to promote a queen. So now we will play the move a7. King b7, the only move. And now the move is just amazing. Rook to a6. We just trying to promote the queen. And now the only move for, for black is to play king a8. And now rook coming to the c6 square b3, the only move to uh, defend this pawn on c2. And now we're playing a very quiet move, but very strong move. You know, black wants just to grab the pawn and also to play b2, b1 or c1. But now we will play the move for rook to c7. We're not giving up this pawn on a7. And now black has only one option to play. He must play the move b2. And now we have just amazing, amazing check. Rook c8 check, king takes a7, the only move because king b7 just Promoting a queen with checkmate, right? This checkmate, beautiful checkmate. Uh, so he will not do it, king b7. He will take the pawn on a7. And now we will take the pawn on c2. He promote a queen and now rook a2 check. King b6, rook b2 check. And after rook queen takes b2, it's a stalemate. And we did the draw against, you know, very, very tough position to handle. So this was the draw. Another stalemate, beautiful one. So let's go to the last and you know the beautiful one here we have so much troubles in the position we have only two pawns against so much pawns here how many pawns do we have here six pawns against two pawns four pawns down with white pieces so how can we do a draw but you know this is just amazing the move is the solution is are you ready f6 move we just want to promote the queen and the only move for black is to play the move d4 and now we are playing just amazing amazing idea rook coming to h1 no way rook to f5 check king g1 we are putting our rook here on h1 and it's just you know it's just very, very surprisingly and also very, very creative because d3, f7, d2 and f8 queen, rook takes and this was a checkmate. No checkmate, stalemate of course and this is a draw. It's amazing how we are putting our rook here because we don't want it. You know, we don't need it. We just bringing the rook here because now the king cannot go here, cannot go here, cannot go here and of course cannot go to h1 because of the rook. So our rook is helping us to get this statement. So ladies and gentlemen, I really want to know if you like this video, just press like and also comment below your thought about it. So thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.